today we will see some examples of division of decimal numbers manish painted the walls of his house he required 7.92 liters of paint to paint four identical walls if he used an equal amount of paint for all the walls then find the amount of paint he used for each wall The example shows that Manish painted four walls for which he required a total of 7.92 liters of paint. To find out how much paint was used to paint one wall, we have to divide 7.92 by 4. We can write 7.92 in the form 792 by 100. So the division will become 792 upon 100 divided by 4. to find the result of division we will write the first number 792 by 100 as it is and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second number 4 that is 1 by 4 792 by 100 into 1 by 4 is equal to 792 into 1 by 100 into 4 we can write this as 1 into 792 by 100 into 4 Can you tell us why we can write 792 into 1 is equal to 1 into 792? Think a little. Because the order of multiplication of two numbers is commutative, which means it can be done in any order. 1 into 792 by 100 into 4 can also be written as 1 by 100 into 792 by 4. Dividing seven ninety two by four will give the result one ninety eight, and one by one hundred into one ninety eight is equal to one point nine eight. So we can say that Manish used one point nine eight liters of paint to paint one wall. Next example: A plane covers a distance of three thousand and seventy six point four eight kilometers. in 2.3 hours find out how many kilometers does it travel per hour the example shows that the aircraft covers a distance of 3076.48 kilometers in 2.3 hours duration if we have to find out how many kilometers it travels per hour then for this we have to divide 3076.48 by 2.3 So let's find the result. We will look at another method of dividing two decimal numbers. First, we write this division as three thousand seventy-six point four eight by two point three. Then we will convert the denominator into a whole number. Just think of how you can do this. Let me tell you if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 10 the numerator and denominator will remain the same but the decimal point will move one place to the right there is a decimal point after 23 and there are no digits after this we can say that now there is a whole part of decimal number so we can ignore the decimal point in summary we can say that if the decimal point of the numerator and the denominator is moved one place to the right then we get a whole number in the place of the denominator now we can divide 30764.8 by 23 let us solve this using long division method here 30764.8 is the dividend and 23 is the divisor to divide we first check whether the whole part of the dividend is smaller or larger than the divisor here 30764 is greater than 23 so we can divide it by dividing the whole part we now get the whole part of the quotient 1337 and the remainder as 13 now the next digit is 8 which is after the decimal point therefore we will place the decimal point after the whole part of the quotient 
and take 8 down. This now makes the number 138. Now we divide 138 by 23. By multiplying 23 into 6, we get 138. So, we will write 6 after the decimal point in the quotient and subtract 138 from 138 to get 0. The quotient we get is 1337.6. Thus, the aeroplane travels 1337.6 km per hour. So today, we have seen examples of division of decimal numbers. In the next video, we will dispel certain misconceptions related to them.